Hi, I'm Irma Botvin. I'm here with Dr. Larry Berkelhammer. Dr. Berkelhammer has researched mindfulness practices to increase mastery and well-being. On your website, you talk a lot about reprogramming the brain, mm. and so I wonder if you could share with us some important uh, parts Reprogramming of that. the brain. Who would have thought, mm -hmm. when we were all growing up, that we'd be talking about reprogramming the brain? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was really? even even as as recently as just 20 years ago, we wouldn't have been talking about reprogramming the brain. This has all come out of the recent research by people like Richard Davidson. Uh, at the University of Wisconsin uh, in neuroplasticity. And when they discovered that the brain is plastic, in other words, the brain changes itself, it grows, it can evolve into old age. This is, mm. was incomprehensible 20 years well, ago. Even now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it takes work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, one, of, one neuropsychologist, Rick Hansen, mm -hmm. has said that what we think and feel sculpts the brain and shapes the mind. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that would have been seen yeah. as pretty woo woo wow. yeah. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you an example. Self-deprecating thoughts create neural substrates that reinforce the likelihood of having more of those same thoughts. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, it works both ways. Yeah. The practice of mindfulness changes the structure and the function of the brain. Mm. You end up with a different brain, a wow. better brain, yeah. just through practicing mindfulness. That's boggling my brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, it, it, that's yeah. what got me, yeah. after I'd already had a mindfulness practice for 30 years, that got me to really uh, recommit myself mm -hmm. to that practice. Mm -hmm. So neuroplasticity allows us to improve our mental and physical health. The network is then reinforced every day as we practice. Unfortunately, we have to contend with the fact that we've had a lifetime of reinforcing our old unhealthy behavior. Mm -hmm. And you know we've continually reinforced and laid down unhealthy neural firing pattern. So we have to, we have to overcome that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure who said it, but someone said, um, neurons that fire together, wire together. Uh, it, was, it was Schwartz, um, blanking on which, which Schwartz. Uh, Jeff, not Jeffrey Schwartz. It might have been Jeffrey Schwartz. Yeah, okay. He said, neurons that fire together, okay. wire together. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, well, thank you very much for letting us know that much information and I hope to talk more Thank about Thank you. It. This is a very exciting subject okay. for me. Okay.